come with me to clean this couch. First step was moving those cushions and getting underneath them. And you might notice that these cushion covers are the type that you can just wash. The client didn't have a washing machine, so I'm just going to be going in with my green machine. And after I vacuum up all these snacks to save for later, I'm going in with the green machine to try to get some of that staining up. And it was pretty hard to get into those crevices, but I was still pretty happy with how much came up. And if you see me wearing my sandals, don't judge. It's a hot day and the dogs are out. After I'm done with this area, I leave the cushions off to let it dry. Then I move on to cleaning the rest of the couch, working in sections and going over each area at least twice. I don't know if you can tell, but there was a lot of staining on this couch. So even though the cushion covers could definitely still use another wash, you can see in the video and definitely by the water dumps that a lot of stuff came up. And while I thought the couch was going to be a quick, easy task, I ended up being on it for over two hours. And I also cleaned the rug, so by the time I left, I was there a lot longer than I thought I would be. Which I really hate doing because I know it interferes with the client's day. So if you're watching this, sorry. These are those cushion covers that zip right off and go into the washing machine. But here I am, green machine in them anyway. There have been a lot of stuff spilled on these cushions. So if it were my house and I had all the time in the world, I would have cleaned the covers in the washing machine and cleaned the cushions in the bathtub. But personally, I don't have couch covers like that, so I just gotta clean mine the old-fashioned way. But I'm curious to know how many people have couches with cushion covers. So if you've made it to this point, let us know in the comments if your couch has cushion covers. Or are you like me and you just gotta scrub them bitches? And after giving this rug a good vacuum, I do go on to clean it. But it was right about here. It's Friday and we are doing a full house reset ready for the weekend. I did Hallie's washing first thing this morning, popped some bits in the dryer and I've bought her quite a lot of knitwear from Vinted recently so I just popped that on the line because I didn't want to put it in the dryer. Then I took the cushion covers and the throws off the sofas and popped them in the washing machine. There were some bits of Hallie's stuff where the stains hadn't lifted out very well so I just popped them back in as well and I also put Benny's blankets in too. Once that wash was finished, I put the cushion covers on the maiden and then popped Benny's bits out to dry on the line, which was pointless because the sun went and it didn't come back again. The kitchen actually wasn't too bad, I just popped the pots away from breakfast this morning, cleaned the air fryer from lunch and then changed the water in these flowers. These flowers are lasting absolutely ages, I'm so pleased because they're so pretty. Then I gave all the worktops and all the cupboard doors a wipe over with some Zaflora. So this is one of the big pets of floras that are normally like four or five quid and Hallie won it for a pound in a raffle at Pets at Home the other week, buzzing with that. Sorted the fruit bowl out and popped that back and then gave the hob a wipe over with some windoline. Moved on to the sink and the drainer. I just cleaned it with fairy liquid because I know we'll be using it again at some point during the day so I didn't really want to put any smellies down it yet. Gave all the chroma polish and then just popped the dryer back. And then I swept the floor today because I don't know, I just feel like sometimes a sweeping brush just picks up so much better than the vacuum. I feel like it gets all the little bits that the vac sometimes misses. Gave the floor a clean with some Spanish floor cleaner and the flora. And then I actually had a little helper today. Look at him go. Matt was vacuuming all the sofas and everything downstairs. So I just went and cleaned upstairs. Started off by giving the bath a clean and then we've got a new shower head so I thought I'd treat our shower to a clean and a polish. Gave the sink a clean, then the cupboard under the sink where we keep all our toiletries has got so messy recently so I just gave that a tidy up. Gave the windowsill a wipe over, then moved on to cleaning the toilet. Have big plans for our big boiler cupboard which is in our bathroom next week. I'm just waiting for my team who order to come so I can get it all organised. Here's how the bathroom is looking after I finished cleaning and then I went into our bedroom. I'm ashamed to say this was about half past two and I still hadn't made the bed. Hallie is just draining my soul at the moment, honestly. Pop the clean washing away and then I gave all the surfaces a wipe over with some Zaflora and then gave them a polish with some Mr Sheen. Then just gave the throws at the end of the bed a Febreze and that was our room all done. Just waiting on Matt to come upstairs and do the vacuum. At this point, Hallie had woke up from her nap, so I went into her room and gave it a tidy up. Tidied some bits away that were on her side and then took everything off the surfaces so that I could give them a dust and a polish. Then moved this blooming mattress out of the way. We all know how I feel about this mattress. I honestly haven't made Hallie's bed for the past two days. How bad is that? So I made her bed and then 
I'm always chopping and changing things in Hallie's room, but I just wanted to give it a bit of a move around. I just moved her Tony table to one side and then I gave her windowsill a wipe over. She plays with this little dollhouse all the time, so it's still really accessible for her on the windowsill. But this is how her room is looking now. It's been tidied and had a little bit of a rejig. This room also could really do with a good organise and sort out. Then my last job of the day was to give the stairs a clean. Let me tell you, I could not be bothered vacuuming today. So I just gave the painted bit a dust and a wipe over with some Zaflora. And to signal the end of the Friday reset, I popped my candles on. Hallie chose an apple blossom and almond wax melt and then I just popped my gingerbread candle on. And that is me done, so thank you for watching, bye! <laughs>
Why?